Moza. Paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria belongs to hemolytic anemias, and the major feature of this disease is hyperactivation of complement-mediated intravascular hemolysis, especially at night. Paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria is caused by PIGA mutation, which disrupts the production of GPA and G protein. Without this protein, protective factors as decay accelerating factor and membrane inhibitor of reactive lysis cannot bind to red blood cell surface. And without these two protective factors, complement attacks and destroy red blood cells. So, let's illustrate this. In the blood we have red blood cells. Red blood cells inside them contain hemoglobin and lactate dehydrogenase. The problem for red blood cells is that they live in a very dangerous environment. In the blood we have macrophages, we have antibodies, but also in the blood we have complement. And complement binds and destroys everything on its way. In fact, complement can destroy every cell in the blood, unless this cell has protective factors that repel complement. To place these protective factors, red blood cells produce GPA and G protein. And this GPA and G protein permits red blood cells to bind two protective factors. Its membrane inhibitor of reactive lysis, so-called CD59, and decay accelerating factor, so-called CD55. So, as we see, GPA and G protein is the key molecule here. Because without GPA and G protein, red blood cells cannot bind any of these protective factors. But not only red blood cells need this protective mechanism. All other cells that circulate through the bloodstream also require protective factors that repel complement. First of all, it's platelets that have inside them prothrombotic substances. So, on platelet surface, we have the similar protective mechanism. And it's leukocytes, that also require GPA and G protein and two protective factors to survive in the bloodstream. So, CD59 and CD55 molecules are protective factors that repel complement and by this they prevent destruction of blood cells. All hail Satan! All hail Satan! Uh, hi guys! Yeah. But in paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria, mutation occurs that disrupts the production of GPA and protein. So now cells won't have anti protein. And without anti protein, protective factors as CD59 and CD55 cannot bind to the cellular surface. So now, suddenly, cells won't have protective factors against complement. In these circumstances, complement becomes hyperactivated. He's coming into his power. We're doomed. Well then, welcome to the end times. And this means that complement system begin to destroy blood cells. I assume this is about Armageddon. Yes. But there is one interesting feature about the complement. Complement system becomes even more active in acidic environment. And physiologically, blood pH becomes more acidic at night. The reason is that at night we have shallow breathing. Because at night we cannot use the full lung's capacity. Shallow breathing causes buildup of carbon dioxide in the blood, which results in respiratory acidosis. And acidic environment causes additional stimulation of complement. This overactivation of complement at night is the reason why this disorder called nocturnal. So, once blood cells lose their protective factors, complement immediately attacks them. With destruction of leukocytes, leukopenia develops. Destruction of platelets cause thrombocytopenia, but also destruction of platelets cause massive release of prothrombotic substances into the blood, which markedly increase the risk of thrombosis. The two most common sites of thrombosis are hepatic vein 
so-called Bhatkari syndrome, and cerebral lines. And also, hyperactivation of complement cause hemolysis of red blood cells. Obviously, with destruction of red blood cells, red blood cell count decreases and hemoglobin concentration decreases, so anemia develops. Stars crashing down, and what are they putting in bananas these days? But also, with red blood cells destruction, massive amount of lactate dehydrogenase enters into the blood, which causes elevation of LDH level. And we know that increase in LDH level is a marker of hemolysis. In addition to this, hemolysis of red blood cells causes massive release of hemoglobin into the blood. And hemoglobin has several pathways. First of all, some amount of hemoglobin undergo excretion by the kidneys into the urine. And the presence of hemoglobin in the urine we call hemoglobinuria, which is totally pathological. But also recall that one of the hemoglobin components is iron. And with the loss of hemoglobin, we lose iron. Loss of iron into the urine, with time, will cause iron deficiency. In addition to this, recall that one of the hemoglobin components is protoporphyrin. And in the blood, protoporphyrin undergo conversion to bilirubin. So, hemolysis of red blood cells cause increase in blood bilirubin level. And with increase in bilirubin, First of all, jaundice develops, and the risk of bilirubin gallstones greatly increase. And to explain the last hemoglobin pathway, we have to know that in the blood we have haptoglobin molecules. The function of haptoglobin is to inactivate free hemoglobin molecules. And this inactivation occurs by binding of haptoglobin to hemoglobin. Binding of haptoglobin to hemoglobin results in formation of a hemoglobin haptoglobin complex, and this complex eventually will be eliminated from the blood by the splenic macrophages. So, because we use one of the haptoglobin molecules to eliminate free hemoglobin molecules, with the release of free hemoglobin molecules into the blood, the level of haptoglobin molecules decrease, and decrease in haptoglobin level is a well-known marker of hemolysis. Important to know that Coombs test in paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria will be negative, simply because there are no autoantibodies on red blood cell surface. It's a complement that kills red blood cells, not autoantibodies. As we already know, this disorder causes increase in destruction of all blood cells. So, pancytopenia is one of the key diagnostic features. And also, there is increased risk of thrombotic complications due to the release of prothrombotic substances from platelets. And one of the signature features is the presence of pink or red urine in the morning, which tell us about hemoglobinuria. Paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria is associated with aplastic anemia and acute leukemia. And the lab test that can verify diagnosis is flow cytometry where we should determine the absence of CD55 and CD59 on red blood cell surface. The treatment is eculizumab. This drug inhibits complement, and thereby it prevents the destruction of blood cells. Ciao! What's that mean? Ciao. It's Italian. It means food. 